embrace and move forward. Okay, now, we're going to kick off. Today is as much a process as it is me talk. At times I will talk to you, and at times I will get interaction from you, and at times you will converse with each other. And one of the first things we're going to do is just to start an interaction process. Um, I want to get a sort of sense of um, where you're at and get some energy flowing here into the room. And um, shortly I'm going to get you to have a conversation with someone in the room based on those three questions. And the first three questions linked to, you know, the year so far, so far for me has been, you can carry that on, whatever you want to say. I really enjoy, you can carry that on. The most challenging thing for me as I look towards the winter is, and I just want you to uncover those conversations. But before I do that, um, I just want to share a model that is used around the way in which we relate with individuals. And some of you may be familiar with this. This model is actually called the Johari Window. And it's a nice way of explaining quite often how we communicate and relate with each other. And it goes a little bit like that, this. In my relationship with, I think it's Jessica, I've only met Jessica this morning, she hasn't met me. There's things I know about Jessica, there's things that she doesn't know about me. And so the, we call this particular part of this window the arena. It's the arena of our communication and contact. With Maltz, there's some things I know about him and there's things that he doesn't know about me, but that arena is greater. It's bigger because we share more things in terms of the, the way we actually relate. The second part of the window is, um, is to make sure that things I know and you know. Okay, so there's things I know about uh, myself and there's things that you know about me. That's the size of our arena. The second one is, is what I had up here originally. There's things that I know and that you don't know. And so because I don't know you, what I tend to do at times is I put that on. I put a mask on because I'm not sure whether you'll think I'm a bit of a jerk or <laughs> whether it's safe to communicate with you. So. You know, you know, remember a boy meets girl for the first time, you know, knock on the door, tuck your shirt in, do all that, stand up there, you know, you stand nice and there, hello, how are you? Well, we used to have days, these days, it's probably going <laughs> just rock on straight in and say, where's the fridge? But <laughs> so, just, so what we tend to do is, you know, if you go for an appraisal or a listing for the first time, quite often when you don't know the other person, you put that on firmly. Because you're trying to work out where are the boundaries, what's safe, and how we actually communicate. What's this part of the window here? There's things that you don't know, but the other knows. You know how sometimes you're doing things that you're not aware of, but somebody else knows. You know, people have bad breath, they have body odour, they have little mannerisms that they actually do that, that, that you are not aware of. And so we call this particular part of the window blind spots. And we all have blind spots quite often that we are not aware of ourselves until someone who we value and who is, is confident enough to communicate with to us. And so if in our world, if our communication world involves us wearing a mask and people identifying with blind spots can do a lot to this particular arena. And so we've got to make sure that we actually try to increase that size of the arena and all the relationships that are important to us. Because if we don't, and it just stinks. And then down here, there's some things I don't know, and you don't know. And we call this area of the window the potential. You know, you have conversations with somebody before you know it, you, you go far out, you've got the same interests, and there's a synergy that exists that you didn't know beforehand. And so when you think of your own personal relationships in the world, you start to say, how big is my arena with the people that are close to me? Are there times I've got to wear my masks? Can I communicate with blind spots? When you look at your database, what you're aiming to do is to extend the, the size of the arena with the people because when you do that, you create a connected relationship with the people that will actually make them come back to you and make them re recommend you to other people. Because we know the whole nature and the whole 
whole notion of real estate is intent to return and intent to recommend. So you get sell a property with somebody, whenever they want to sell a house again, they always want to come back to you, intent to return. And if they're at a party and they uh, overhear somebody talking about wanting to buy or sell a house, they say, you've got to go to this person. You've got to come back to them. Intent to return and intent to recommend. So understanding here is this whole relationship. So we're going to kick the morning off with just trying to extend the arena a little bit in terms of the relationship with each of you. I'm going to do two or three rotations. You're going to have about two minutes. Start with any one of those questions you like. Just have turns. Feel free to probe and question and come back and forward. The goal of the exercise is what? Increase the arena. Increase the arena. Okay, so how deep and what you share is totally up to you. Okay? Let's have you on your feet. You can sit if you want to. Find someone that you don't know that well and begin a conversation. I'll turn you into the rotation.